and welcome to my unboxing of two Parks and Recreation Funko Pop figures. Now, I have to admit, compared to some people, I'm not the, the biggest Funko Pop collector. I, I've got a couple of Game of Thrones ones, but really I, I just don't have the shelf space to collect as many as some people. You know, I've seen online some people have hundreds of these things and I, I don't know where they keep them all. But um, the other day I saw that they'd released some Parks and Recreation Funko Pops and I'm a huge fan of Parks and Rec. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's got loads of great people in. Nick Offerman, Aubrey Plaza, Amy Poehler, and of course Chris Pratt, who's now a massive, massive star. But anyway, when I saw they were releasing some Parks and Rec Funko Pops, I thought I have to get a couple. So I got two of my favorite characters, Ron Swanson and Andy Dwyer played by Nick Hoffman and Chris Pratt. And I just thought I'd do a quick unboxing so you can see what they look like and whether you might want to add a couple to your collection. First of all, we'll start off with the Ron Swanson figure. First of all, looking at the packaging, it's very similar to the kind of packaging you get with other Funko Pop figures. Uh, you know, you have a clear view of the figure inside, little picture of a cartoon there. And then on the back, you can see the other collectibles that are available. There's Leslie Nope, Ron Swanson, Little Sebastian, Andy Dwyer, and April Ludgate. One thing I really like about this packaging is you can see just there is, uh, can you see that nice and close? Is the stamp of Pawnee, the fictional place where Parks and Rec is set. Uh, I think that's really cool. It, it kind of lends to this idea that it's a real place and these are real characters because, of course, the show was shot kind of like a mockumentary. So, you know, these kind of are meant to be real people. So I think that's a really nice touch there. I'll just make sure you can see that properly. There you go. So, yeah, pretty standard packaging, but very nice. The box is sturdy. I don't think that's going to get bashed up too much in transport. Definitely going to keep the figure safe. Some collectors might want to keep theirs in their boxes because they might be worth thousands in the future, but I'm not really like that. I'm just going to go ahead and crack this open. There you go, pretty easy, just open straight up like that. And then, hopefully, just slide it out nice and easy. There you go. And then that just pops straight out there. And there you go, there's your little Ron Swanson figure. You can see he's uh, got a disapproving look on his face, much like his show counterpart. He's holding a mug of coffee there, probably looking disapprovingly at the antics of uh, Tom or April. And uh, I, I think this is a really nice sculpt. I really like the, uh, the kind of uh, swished back hair and uh, the thick eyebrows, again, looking disapprovingly. I, I think they've really kind of captured the, uh, the spirit of Ron Swanson there. Of course, no Ron Swanson figure would be complete without the magnificent moustache. Where would Ron be without his moustache? Uh, yeah, so that's a really great mould. I feel like um, the clothes he's wearing, very much, very similar to the clothes he wears in the show. I believe he does wear that. Is that actually, is that the red top he wears when, <laughs> that he wears whenever he's gotten laid? Maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe uh, more eagle-eyed viewers will know. But, <laughs> uh, you know, he always comes into work with a smile on his face on those days. Uh, maybe that's not to that, maybe not, I'm not sure. But the mug, I don't know if you can see, it doesn't actually say anything on it. Uh, would have been nice if it said, you know, kind of pro Parks and Rec property of or something. Uh, but no, just a plain mug. Then on the back, pretty similar. Just, uh, you know, standard, nothing uh, too important to see that. I like how the hair, uh, you know, there's nice sculpting there. It really looks like hair. Ron has a magnificent head of hair and I feel like they've captured that in this figure. And uh, yeah, really nice there. Love the eyebrows again. The eyes, you know, the big head, iconic to Funko Pop figures. Yeah, I feel like uh, that's a cracking rendition of Ron Swanson. The head doesn't bobble or anything. As far as I can see, there's no moving parts to this. Some pop figures do have like bobbly heads and stuff or slight articulation. This one doesn't, just uh, very solid, just to sit on your work desk and uh, enable you to channel the spirit of Swanson as you work. Next up we have Addy Dwyer, one of my favourite characters again from Parks and Rec. I think he's hilarious, Chris Pratt did an incredible job on him. Yeah, you know, it's great to see uh, Chris Pratt before he became mega famous, just goofing around on Parks and Rec. If you see the bloopers, you'll know how funny he is. 
And yeah, there are actually two versions of Andy Dwyer available. There was a, a limited edition one, which I think I'm right in saying was exclusive to Hot Topic. And that is a figurine of Andy Dwyer as Burt Macklin, FBI. Uh, and fans will know exactly what that means. Uh, so yeah, if you if you want to get the Burt Macklin version, you're either going to need to head to Hot Topic or eBay. Uh, it, it's not too expensive on eBay, but definitely more expensive than your average Funko Pop. As much as I love Burt Macklin personally, I decided to go with uh, just regular Andy Dwyer playing guitar because I feel like his guitar was a large part to his character as a musician. And, you know, a lot of the songs he sung were really funny. And, you know, who can forget his, uh, the, the tribute concert to Lil Sebastian. Um, so, yeah, I decided to go with the guitar version. I feel like as well, it just, it just adds a bit more to the pop Funko, having a little prop. Um, but yeah, the, the Funko pop, the, the, sorry, the Burt Macklin version is also pretty cool as well. He's got shades on. But yeah, I decided to go with the regular version. Just like the Ron Swanson one, the packaging, nice and solid, not, not gonna get bruised up in uh, shipping. On the back here, you have, just like the Ron Swanson one, it shows the other figures available. Let's note Ron Swanson, Lil Sebastian, Addy Dwyer, and April Ludgate. And uh, again, you have the Pawnee insignia there. So, time to open it up. And there you go. There he is. Andy Dwyer there. Got his guitar there, ready to rock and roll at a moment's notice. I like how he's wearing, can you see he's wearing his apron there from where he worked as a shoe shiner um, in the earlier seasons of Parks and Rec. That's a nice callback cool there. I love his slight facial hair, can you see that? Um, yeah, oops, sorry. Uh, you can see, you know, he's always uh, a little bit shambolic looking. He's got the messy hair there, and uh, I like his soulful eyes there. Addy always had kind eyes. I feel like they kind of captured that with his uh, slightly raised eyebrows. So yeah, really nice figure there um, on the back as well. I really like the, the hair again, the sculpting. Really kind of looks like wavy hair that could move, you know? So yeah, really nice figure there. And uh, his guitar is, uh, to be fair, not quite as detailed as it shows on the box. And uh, the neck there's a little bit bent. But it's very solid, it, it doesn't look like that's going to break off or anything. Um, so yeah, that's good. I, I feel like something that's good about Funko Pop figures is they are solid, you know. If they fall off your desk, they're not just going to snap. Again, no articulation that I can feel. It hasn't got a bobbly head or anything. Um, but a really great figure there, I think. And uh, yeah, it's nice to have uh, a little bit of Pawnee on top of my desk. Here you have them side by side. You can see they're both exactly the same height. Uh, some Funko Pop figures, depending on the character they're based off, are a little larger, a little smaller. But these two, just uh, two regular blokes, same size. Let me know if you've got any of the new Parks and Rec figures. Do you love Funko Pop? Have you got hundreds of them? Are you one of those collectors that, I, I mean, regardless of the money, I just don't know where you keep them all. I mean, I, I have little enough sh shelf space as it is. But let me know, have you got any of these? Are there any upcoming Funko Pop releases you're looking forward to? Personally, I would love to see the release of some It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Funko Pops. I think those could be really cool. But uh, as far as I know, they're, they're not. They haven't announced that so far. But I feel like Parks and Rec is uh, a worthy Funko Pop release as well. Though I would love to see some uh, It's Always Sunny ones. What figures would you like to see released in the future? Are you into collecting them? Have you got loads? Have you just got a few? Let me know what you've got in the comments. See you next time.